everybody. Ooh, Lady Charlotte here. Yeah, I know. I got a baseball cap on. I don't really wear hats. If you ever see me in a hat, I mean, it's a bad, bad, bad hair day. Uh, at any rate, I want to say, first off, thank you to Drive Girl Drive. Um, she sent her subscribers over to my channel to say hello when I was in the hospital. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for that. It meant a lot. Um, so I think it's only fair and fitting that I ask my subscribers, please, please, please go visit Drive Girl Drive's page. Let's show her community the same love that they showed our community when they stopped by to say hello when I was down. Um, I think it's only fair and fitting. If you love my channel, you're going to love her channel as well. Um, but hers is a little more, she, 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 she tackles some of the tougher issues. Um, she's very smart, articulate, down to earth. I mean, <laughs> easy going, a great lady, period. Does what she says she's going to do. But she tackles tougher issues and has a little more serious content than I do. And she's got some funny stuff. Y'all know my stuff is just funny, just brighten your day funny. But uh, go over there and look at some of those issues she's tackling about Uber. And, um, and uh, just tell her that I sent you. I know y'all wondering why my face is looking like this, because I don't feel good. I, um, I think I did too much this morning. I have to wash clothes, and I mean, you know, well, I didn't wash clothes. I wash drawers and shirts because I want nobody to wash my drawers. But my mama would wash my drawers, but I'll give her a break. She's been doing a lot for me. She's been doing a lot for me. So I'm going to give my mama a break on Mama's Day. Um, and I think I carried a bag that was too heavy. It said it don't do more than 10 pounds. That didn't look like 10 pounds, but I had to realize my 10 pounds is a whole lot different than the real life 10 pounds. 10 pounds is simply two five pound bags of sugar well i think i got more than 10 pounds of underwear and t-shirts so um yeah i'm pretty sure i overdid it because i hurt i hurt i hurt where i had hernia surgery i don't hurt where i had gallstone surgery actually that i mean that feels pretty good it's just where i had the hernia surgery it feels like you know when you're a kid and you realize you have a belly button so you sit there and you play with it or you try to dig out all the dirt, the birth dirt that's in there. You know, you see that little birth dirt in there, so you try to go forward with your finger, and you concentrate and concentrate, and then your mommy or daddy say, stop playing in your belly button. Then not for long, your belly button start hurting, and you got that funny, achy feeling. Well, mine feels like that mm, about 10 times that, that feeling. Because um, when I picked up the bag and, and all that, you tend to tighten your abdominal muscles. And remember, I had hernia surgery, so... Now I ache. I feel like my my belly button and four inches above that has a headache. Um, also, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten or drank anything until just now. And it is about 1.10, 1.15 in the afternoon. I've been afraid to eat because the first day I came home, um, which was Friday night, Friday afternoon, I ate a bunch of stuff that, you know, after I ate it, probably shouldn't have eaten. I had three Swift Debbie cakes. I had um, a bowl of ice cream. It was heavenly hash, actually. actually. I had um, a half a two liter of that blackberry ginger ale, full flavor, or the grape ginger ale, whatever it is. It's purple. It's so pretty and it tastes so good. Um, and I had some some uh, chicken broth. I didn't do well, and I put too much down too fast. That wasn't too good for me, so I got sick that night. So that's why I didn't really get on. You know, I answered a few comments here and there. But I was rolling around in my pain. Sunday, I mean, I'm sorry, that's Friday, Saturday. So Saturday, we out in the morning. I'm watching TV. And I had a revelation. It hit me hard. I realized that everything that I eat two hours later, it comes back with a vengeance. And um, it, comes it comes out bottom side. Fast and furious. You got that move fast and furious. And I had to Tokyo drift to the bathroom. You hear me? I hit that corner on two toes. I was asleep. And I kept hearing my stomach say, girl, 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 girl. I'm like, ooh, my stomach growl. I never had it really growl like that before. That's, that sounds ferocious. So, you know, I doze on back off, go to sleep. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, snap. Okay, it sounded like a war going on in there. Yeah, yeah. I closed my eyes again. And now we're talking like three something in the morning because I just laid down to go to sleep about two. Man, next thing you know, you know that feeling you get. 
You know when you pass gas in your sleep most time. You know, we all do it. We human. You let out a little farfet nougat. You know, the, you know, something lightweight. You know, sometimes you let out some heavy duty stuff where you got to flap the covers back and forth. You know, to, to get it, you know, to dissipate into the air because it's thick. You know, you let out them thick ones. And then your spouse wake up and tell you it smell like something burning or the house burning. You know, that's some serious stuff right there. But uh, this was a little far from new. I said, I'm going to let this out and I'm going to go on back to sleep. Now, I'm sleeping on my back because it hurts to sleep on my side right now. On either side, it hurts. Not from the gallstone surgery, but from the hernia surgery. So, I got ready to, you know, just go ahead and let it, you know, ease its way on down the road. I heard that voice say, uh-uh, don't do that. Y'all know that one that said, uh-uh, don't, this ain't the one, this ain't the one. You bet you might want to get up. So, my stomach said, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. I jumped up so fast, fast as I could. I did the Ninja Turtle roll out that bed, I ain't care nothing about my stomach. I did the Ninja Turtle roll out that bed, hit that corner, Tokyo Drift on two toes. Swung it around and dropped it on the toilet. Just in time, just in time. It was a nuclear di disaster, you hear me? Oh Lord, they're gonna hit and hit the buggy thing. Of all the places in the world to park, she wanna park and back up into the buggy, the buggy cart holder. Hmm. I love the people watch. That ain't what I'm doing today. I'm trying to get my electrolytes and all that up. Because I feel bad. I feel nauseous. And my stomach hurt. But um, I'm starting to feel better now. It's hot as hell out here. Is it hot where you at? It's hot out here. Uh-oh. Okay, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, so please, that's one thing. Please go over and visit Drive Girl Drive page. Tell her I sent you. Tell her thank you, you know, for sending her subscribers to come over and say hey to me and check on me. A lot of her subscribers did subscribe. And I want you guys to do the same. Let's go over to her community and do the same. Let's show some support. Um, also, there I have on my page, um, I have on my page, like, videos I like or, anyway, a playlist or something like that. Go to those people pages and uh, check them out and uh, like their pages too. Um, I put your page down there when I talk to you a lot or whatever. If you have a channel, I talk to you a lot. So go down there, see some people, visit some other pages, and tell them Kimberly sent you. Or Uber Lady Charlotte. As far as the um, phone calls, thank you guys for all the phone calls I get. I'm actually using my work phone now to record because every time I cut on my work phone to try to make a video, it gets cut off because somebody's calling me. I'm not complaining. I mean, but y'all know I don't have a camera, so... I just use my phone. I don't have a camera. Um, it messes up my videos and it takes forever to get a complete video. So I'm using my work phone right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, and if I don't answer you in the comment section on the channel, it's because sometimes, for some reason, I can't answer you. It won't let me post my comment, so I can't say anything. You may just get a thumbs up from me. That means I saw it, but sometimes it won't let me do anything, and I still don't understand why that is. But I do see your comments. I'm not ignoring you. If you send me stupid, crazy comments, I am not going to answer them. I'm just going to delete them. So don't don't waste your time, guys. You know, some of those people that just want to, you just want to, you just want to be mean and hateful. Yeah, it happens to me too. People just say some mean, hateful, crazy stuff. I just delete it. I don't have to entertain it. Um, so I'm going to tell you before you do it, don't waste your time. And on some of my pages, I have to, I have them held for review, so I have to see them first. And the ones that do get by me, I go right back and delete them. So you wasted all your all your time. You wasted 15, 15, 5 minutes of your life texting me or typing me something stupid that I'm going to read the first line or two and delete. Go figure. This channel is about humor, being positive, having a good time, people making new friends. And I hope you guys are making new friends with each other, like emailing each other. You know, you know you could do that, right? You could email each other. Like my name is Uber Lady Charlotte. Well, my email address is uberladycharlotte@gmail.com. So if somebody name is on there, Stinky Toes. It's Stinky Toes at gmail.com. That's how you email each other. All right. So let's see what else we got. I got my clothes in the washing machine. I'm gonna go around here and pick them up. Go back home. I gotta dry them, and then I'm gonna go back home, and I'm gonna lay down. Okay. Um, I did come across another story I need to tell you guys later. I was laying in the bed and I was watching something on TV and it reminded me of something. Something strange I saw, but I wasn't by myself. I was driving a school bus and my high schooler saw it too. Because I wasn't going to say nothing until one of my high schoolers said, Miss Kim, do you see that? Do you see that? And he's like, yeah, I see it. And some other kids like, we all see it. 
Okay, since we all see it, it's all going to talk about it. So we saw it and we discussed it, but I'd I do a video about that later, what we saw. Because, like I say, y'all ain't going to think I'm crazy. Some of y'all just scared to admit to some of the things that you've seen or experienced, but... Okay, me too. But y'all ain't gonna say I'm crazy. I didn't lose my job, but um, but this thing right here, it was um, it was pretty scary. All right. So anyway, I'll talk about that later. I am gonna do my hair later. So, you know, it may maybe this evening or tonight. But I am gonna tackle it after I get some rest. And um, oh, and there's another thing I want to discuss with y'all. It was just on the news in my area about um. No, I ain't gonna tell you right right now. But it's gonna be a good one. And y'all gonna be like, what? what people are doing that it's something with their pets with their pets and the vet i'm trying to tell y'all there's some weird people out there i mean they're sick that's all it ain't nasty it's not nasty don't think that it ain't nothing nasty but it just it just makes me so mad i don't have any pets but it just makes me so mad that people are doing these type of things with their pets in order to get something for themselves you know, without thinking about how they're hurting a the pet or the pet has feelings or you know they can't tell us how they feel or whatever but so but my mom and I were talking about it and it just pissed me off so we're gonna talk about it hello sir how are you oh, oh okay I'm back I'm back somebody caught my eye that don't happen very often but um it's happening right now anyway so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I don't need y'all to see me fishing. All right, I'm going to go, and I'll talk to you guys later. We'll talk about those things, okay? All right, bye.